All I have is one word, shaft. You should know what pedal that is. It's the wah pedal. Okay, now let's move on to the real wah pedal within GarageBand. Now, I'm going to say that this is one of the most difficult pedals to play and use and kind of simulate to a real life um, application or to make it just sound realistic. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to use, but let's go ahead and take a look and, and you'll see how it's so hard to use. Um, what a wah pedal is, it you all have seen like uh, or heard at least like the shaft type of theme music that's what the wah pedal does it kind of adds that like funkiness where it like really brings in and out the guitar signal and kind of gives it that like wah wah sound that's why it's called a wah pedal anyway um, the thing about this pedal is you need to actually use your foot simultaneously as you're strumming the guitar so when you're bringing it to a software application, uh, GarageBand, actually to control the foot pedal, you have to click and hold and slide up and down the pedal. So I'll show you right here. You just click and drag down and that moves the pedal down and then I'm still holding and I move it up and that moves the pedal up and down just like that. And that's how you control the effect within the pedal. Obviously, I cannot click and drag while I'm playing the guitar at the same time. So the way around that is to actually track your guitar first and then do the click and drag movements with the wah. And that's how you use the pedal within GarageBand. So let's go ahead and track. You all know how to record a basic guitar part now. So I'm just going to rewind this guy and just record a little something. Okay, those aren't the best levels, but I'm um, just showing you this as a reference. Let's go ahead and rewind this back to the beginning or near where I started playing. And let's take a listen to that again. Okay, so with the wah pedal, what you have to do is once I hit that chord and it, the scratching in between the chords strumming is when I'm going to slide the pedal downward. So it's kind of hard to do this while after the fact, after you've played it. So um, it's best to be playing it simultaneously because then you get a feel for when you're strumming it versus when you're scratching uh, the guitar. So, um, but still still can be done so let's go ahead and take a look and i'm going to try and use the wah guitar effect now okay so as you can see that's not the greatest attempt ever but you do get the point where it does take a little bit of time that can be time consuming if you're really trying to to go for that type of sound but nonetheless it still can be done with just a little bit of practice and time and effort uh, you can achieve that wah sound so please remember to rate comment and subscribe and if you have any requests please send them to request at mahalo.com Time we spent on my roof just staring out into the sky. We could see the light of light. And then you told me that you.